On an uncharted island sits a lighthouse. It's a very special lighthouse that projects a message of love and hope throughout the world. The Protectors are a special team chosen to protect our world from the Syndicate, an evil group determined to spread darkness. These Protectors, chosen to fight the Syndicate, are known as the Light Force. Oh, network. Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. I just came from the Nexus. I was installing a new camera and I hate it in there. It's so bright and colorful and it gives me a headache. Maybe you should take a rest. You know, Axiom, that is a great idea. What would I do without you? Thank you. Oh, yes. <laughs> you seem <clears throat> happier than normal. Well, I am always happy, Network, but you're right. I am happier than normal. I'm going to regret asking this, but uh, why are you happier than normal? I'm glad you asked. I'm not. I've just received five stars in my cheerfulness rating, and I have found out that I am a good person. Yeah, uh, of course you are. You're a great guy. Well, thank you, but I found out because of the Good Guy app. The Good Guy app. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's, it's an app that I've created that tracks how good we actually are. Uh, how do you do that? Well, it takes the sum of all of your actions, and, and then it takes that, plus your, your personality, and, and how you treat people, and, 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 and whether you're mean or you're nice, and, hold on, carry the one, divide by 50, ah. and it reveals my good rating. Mm. And uh, where do you rank? Well, of all of the Light Force, I am the second most good. Next to Vanguard, of course. The guy just blinks and he's already helped 19 people. And where do I rank? Well, uh... Sorry, buddy. Looks like you've got some work to do. Let me see that. See, it's actions like that that take away points. I have a negative three greeter rating? You'd be surprised what a good greeting can do for someone's day. <laughs> and it says I'm a level 10 cranky. Mm -hmm. Cranky, you know. Let's see what else your app says. Oh, I'm gonna take that. Hey guys. Hi, Sage. Welcome back to the lighthouse. Did you see that, Axiom? Do I get a greeter point? Uh, well, it did notice, but then it took those goodness points away because you were a little crabby about it, Mr. Krabby Pants. Um, Jude. what's going on? I don't know. Ask Dr. Good. Dr. Good? Look at this, Sage. I've created an app that tracks how good we are. Hmm. Look, you are currently ranked fourth. Fourth what? You're the fourth goodest person on the team. That's not even a word. What? Well, let me see the app. I'm super good. I can't be ranked fourth. Oh, I'm down in manners. I gotta up that. Oh, and I'm way down in compliments. Sage, I thought you, of all people, would put a stop to this. Why? I think it's great. This way, if we keep using it, we'll know what we're good at and what we need to keep working on. <sighs> when I definitely need to work on my everyday happiness. I think yeah. it's awful. Um, network, oh. you're moving down into villain territory. That's not good, you're, you're falling below in all the rankings. You know what, I'm out of here. And, you know what, I'm not gonna say goodbye, so no manner points for me. Ouch. Ooh, even Scourge is higher than Network right now. Network log 2385. I'm not a big fan of this app. It says I'm not a good person. Since when does smiling and saying hello make someone a good person? I always thought it was more than that. 
I mean, someone's not just a good person just because an app says they are. I'm a good person, right? Sage, you just lost four points. You didn't finish a mission report and you didn't tell anyone about it. Oh, well, I just wrote a card to my mom just because that should make up for it, right? Unnecessary gratitude, that's worth eight points. Good job. And by the way, I just finished cleaning up the kitchen. Oh, we are so good. Super good, help her high five. You guys are still doing that, huh? Yeah, Spectrum is making a run for number one. I can't be the only one who doesn't like it. Well, Prism's not a fan. She decided to go patrol the Nexus. Well, let's see how Prism's doing. She's all by herself. It looks like she may need help. Sage, you just overtook me. <gasps> yes, that means that I'm closer to catching Vanguard. Apparently this app also makes you invisible. Oh, I just need to up my obedience score. I know exactly what to do. Be right back. Sage is a formidable opponent. Opponent? You guys are teammates. You shouldn't be trying to see who the better person is. Network, it's making us all better. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but I think that you should just try to be good instead of scoring how good you are. I think I need to up my truthfulness rating. Sage thinks she's catching up to Vanguard, but she's really not. I probably should have told her. Okay, back to the real world. Let's see how Prism is doing. She's fine. Prism, are you all right? I'm fine, just doing a patrol. Just stinks that I'm out here by myself. I'm sorry, Prism. Hey, Axiom, how many points is it for just being there for someone? Uh, just being there? Let me check. Two points, that's not really worth it. If I'm gonna catch up to Sage, I need at least 10 points. This is starting to feel like a bizarro world. What are you doing? I'm going to help Prism. But you hate the Nexus. I know, but I just feel like this is something I should do. I don't care if it's worth a million points. Well, it's only worth two points, so. Oh. oh, Network, are you okay? I'm fine. I just got back from the Nexus and it makes me dizzy. What's wrong? I heard a crash. Is somebody injured? If I help someone who's injured, that gives me 55 points. I'm glad to get points for that, Axiom. Oh, I'm so glad to be back. I just spent an hour in the Nexus and I hate the Nexus. Why did you go in then? Prism was in there all by herself and no one was going to help her or keep her company. Well, that's not true. I wanted to help her. I just needed more points. Hey, Network, thanks for helping me. No problem, Anytime. I suppose we could have checked to see how she was doing. Too bad it wasn't enough points. Axiom, what's wrong with the app? Uh, I don't know. I think maybe Network's attitude is confusing it. He did something good, but his attitude was bad. I think it's causing it to overload. Maybe this would be a good time to stop. But we have to see our final rankings. Our data, it's all gone. You, you were so not good, you made it shut down. Okay, fine by me. Sage, you have to fix it. Okay. Wait, what are we doing? We're tracking our goodness points. I don't think an app can judge your goodness. Network did the right thing just because he cares about his teammate. Well, don't make a big deal about it. I was just trying to help. I understand now. I understand what goodness looks like. Network helped someone he doesn't get along with and went to a place he doesn't like to be. And that made him th th the best good? It's not a contest, Axiom. We became so focused on ourselves that we didn't notice our teammate. Network did. Aw, I'd do it for any of you. And that's how we need to be. Axiom, as fun as this app was, it's not how we should be. We should choose to be good just when we have the choice to. Okay, well, great, and then I'll make an app that tells us when we need to be good. <laughs> that is not important either. Well, then how am I supposed to tell if I do something good? I think I get it. We'll know we're doing something good when we put others first and we treat them the way we want to be treated. That's the code. Exactly. Wait, uh, 
I made something bad. Does that make me bad? No, Axiom, you're good. You always put others first. That's what goodness is. Okay. <sighs> Thanks. Hey, it's working again! Let's not. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, probably for the best. <laughs>Hey, Light Squad. Today we learned that we can do good for someone else. When you think of doing good, what do you think about? Is it doing your homework when asked? Being nice to your sibling? Going to church every week? Sometimes we can make doing good a checklist, as if we're playing a game like the one Axiom invented. But Jesus told a story that really changed what it meant to do good. You may have heard about it before. It's the story of the Good Samaritan. Now, a little backstory. Israel and Samaria were two countries that were very close to each other. And the people in Israel hated the people in Samaria. I mean, it was bad. They got along like cats and dogs, like spiders and flies, like prism and network. It was bad. It was so bad that the people of Israel believed that there wasn't one good person in Samaria. But Jesus had other ideas, an idea that would change the way we think about doing good. And Jesus did it with a story. The story begins with a man traveling on a very dangerous road. It was full of robbers and thieves. And those thieves showed up. They beat up the man and took everything he had. The man lay hurt and hoping that someone would save him. Suddenly, he sees in the distance a priest. Now a priest was known as someone who did good. The man must have thought, awesome, he'll help me. But the priest didn't stop. He just kept right on walking. Did that just happen? A priest didn't help him. But isn't a priest supposed to help people? Exactly. But thankfully, there was another person coming down the road. Now that person worked in the temple too. He may not have been a priest, but he also was known as someone who served God. And guess what? He walked by too. How come no one is helping this man? That's kind of the point Jesus was making. He wanted to show that you could do all the good things, but still miss out on what it really means to do good. As night came, the man must have lost all hope. If two good people walked by and didn't help, he must have felt like no one would. But suddenly, another man appeared, and he was someone that no one expected. He was a Samaritan. Oh no, the man must have thought. Anyone but a Samaritan. Samaritans are my worst enemy. But the Samaritan didn't see an enemy. He saw someone in need. The Samaritan did more than he had to to help the man. He took care of his wounds and then paid for a place for him to stay as long as he needed. The Samaritan did everything he could to help the man on the road. That's the kind of good that Jesus wants us to live out. It's not just about checking boxes and doing all the right things. It's about caring about someone any way you can. Just like the Good Samaritan went above and beyond to help the guy on the road, we need to do the same thing. So in your day, look at how you can take being good to a whole other level. It might be reaching out and being friends with someone who has no friends, helping your parents around the house, or serving a church. Good is more than a word or doing the right thing. It's being a light to someone who needs it. Till next time, Light Squad.